my joy uh, of having new baby uh, Cornudas is tempered by the loss of the mother. And look at these two little guys are uh, are curled up with mom. Oh, that's just oh man, I can't. Hey. Man, I had her for a while, and, and just when I thought everything was uh, excellent, uh, the Grim Reaper uh, rears his ugly head. And there's Mr. Uh, Mr. Dad back there. You know, I saw. And the other night, uh, she sort of, you know, was lifting her head and sort of had a tremor or something. Uh, ah, this is this is awful. Very sad now. Very very sad. Okay, okay. I'm doing a lot of things. I'm sorry. Here. There you go. It's important to keep the babies hydrated no matter what the species. They lose water so fast. And my favorite way to make sure everybody has some water is to uh, hand water them like this with a pipette. And it sort of builds a special bond between you and the animal because it knows that if you stick something in its face uh, it's not going to hurt them and it's probably uh, relatively good for them. Is that good, huh, baby? Huh? Hmm. Ah, some babies just don't get it. Oh, there we go. That's not a threat. That's not a threat. Huh? There's water. There's water. Huh? Yeah, I know. The, the camera is scary, but what can I say? Uh, is that tasty, huh? Okay. Oh yeah, this is 
that's a ready-made piece for uh, our friend the last remaining uh, Indonesian Russell's Viper baby that was born who still isn't eating he was born in the spring and I'm not quite certain of the sex but these guys are meanies and uh, let's get a big shot of protein into into its gullet and let's do uh, a baby Deboya Rosselli can say hi to the people hi people okay now we'll work with the tapered end forward and I do have a small head and big fangs oh that's it work those fangs into that piece of heart I'm sorry I'm sorry I shouldn't be singing that's a quick way to clear my channel, I think. Alright, easy. Hmm. It's not going so well. Where is it? It's hard to tell. Well, the beautiful thing is this thing's not exploding its guts all over uh, uh, the inside of this uh, Russell's Viper and all over the tongs and contaminating it with gut bacteria. Here. Yeah. That's a nice uh, meal for you. Okay, I think I've bored you long enough with this and you get the idea. Look at me, I'm a big bad snake. I'm a big bad snake. I'm very dangerous. I'm very dangerous. Ooh, we got the twitchies. We got the twitchies. Ooh. Ooh. Baby Protobothrops cam. Oh, he's pissy. Oh, look at a little pissy snake. Yeah. That's all the greeting. All I did was I went in and uh, I wanted to give him uh, a little bit of water. He already has a drinking problem, I see. Okay, yeah, I'm back. I didn't go anywhere. Oh, big bad protobothrops. Jaredon I can. Ooh. Ah, the inert snakes. These are Malayan pit viper babies. These are the most inert snakes I've ever seen that were neonates. Now contrast what you just saw to this little guy and and this little guy. They're like, uh, I'm not doing anything. I don't move. I don't tongue flick. Uh, I don't even bite. But I'm not going to put my fingers down there and demonstrate uh, that they don't. Look at her. She's the uh, she's the big one. She's the one that has been feeding really well from day one. True feeding baby protobothrops cam. All right, get down there. Get down there. Come on, focus up. Let's not have any of this. I'm not going to focus stuff again today. Be careful because this guy has a lot more reach than the other guys. Well, these things are annoying because they stop. Not focusing as well at close range as it should be. At any rate, uh, when I open that drawer, she generally comes up to greet me and says, Let me have it. She's the good eater. And she's born the same time as all these other guys, so you can see uh, 
the real feeders against the reluctant feeders or the ones that just leave me alone, I want to die. Well, someone asked about uh, the baby perps. Uh, they're doing just strikingly. Uh, uh, except, uh, of course, they won't eat because uh, they're too busy trying to kill me. See, they uh, get it in their mouth and uh, they drop it. Now hold on to it there, Fang. Where'd you go? You're not even on camera now. I don't know about you perps. No, oh, come on. Because why don't you just eat this because I'm going to shove it down your throat whether you like it or not. You might as well just do it on your own and save, you know, the wear and tear on us both. Come on. Come on. These are good to eat. Come on. There you go. Oh, you pain in my butt. At least, hopefully that's all you'll be a pain of. Okay. Time to force feed. You had your chance. Somewhere, there's a death adder. Now I can, I can see where it is. These guys are generally pretty good feeders now. I've got all the kinks worked out. Oh, there's a head. There's a head. Yeah. Hello. You interested in rodent tonight, huh? Yeah, see what I mean? This is one of those beautiful red forms. These are two uh, neonates that were actually born at my friend Eric's place. And, uh, um, were they at Eric's? Yeah, I guess they were at Eric's. And uh, I obtained uh, 1.1 from him. And these guys have been uh, pretty nice specimens uh, from the beginning. Is that tasty, huh? Yeah, I bet. There you go. Now, this is the male PNG uh, Death Adder, the Lavis. This is, uh, you saw briefly, uh, the female feed. Now, the male is a lot mm, trickier, as most males are, uh, to get the feed. Um, you might be able to get them to strike and, and grab it, but if you annoy him, even in the slightest, by putting the lid on the cage, sometimes he'll drop it. Come on. You want this? Sorry, I had to scratch my nose. You want this, bud? Or do we have to piss you off a little bit? Uh, that usually does it. That usually does it. Oh, he's pissy. He's a pissy little guy tonight. I don't know if he's going to feed. Are you going to feed it all? Are you working up to a shed that I don't know about? Huh? Oh, there we go. There we go. There you go, bud. Look at that. That's a happy little, uh, uh, what the hell am I talking about? 
That's a happy little death adder. Oops, sorry, brain fart. I heard a uh, noise outside. Uh, uh, it's real windy out, and I think uh, uh, the wind is trying to blow the barn door open. I know, I know, I know. I'm trying to get that piece of bark out of there. There we go. Don't you just love it when they do this little herky-jerky thing? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Food, food, food. I like food. These are nice little specimens. Uh, uh, according to Wolfgang Worcester, they're there's a number of different uh, coloration patterns and stuff of uh, of Acanthophis lavis uh, found in you know Papua New Guinea and uh, uh, Irwin Jawa. Um, but you know I've been going through these books for a long time, and you never see pictures of red ones like this. You know I thought the only red one was. Uh, uh, Acanthopus pyrus, uh, the western death adder. But uh, apparently not. Okay, well, let's uh, see if we can get the lid on this uh, guy, so to speak, and uh, not get him uh, too wound up. 